everyone welcome back to the channel i have found some incredible ai plugins for figma which will make your design process faster easier better some of these are plain magical if i say so myself the first one is figaro and it is literally your best friend in figma it is your ai figma companion and how it works is pretty simple for example, I have this nice little UI design pasted up here and I click on Figaro, I run it, open up this nice little friendly face right here. I think just the design of this plugin is pretty friendly and pretty nice. As you can see, it looks around for things. If I click on this title here, would you like me to modify this text? It automatically detects what element this is. In this case, it's a text and I can tell it what to do. So I can say make this text more friendly and I press enter and it does its job it has this weird wacko face sure how how about we make it more playful and add a color gradient it gives you a nice answer as well and now I say yes it will now ask you more questions to refine the result so what color would you like to use for the gradient I'll say purple and blue Okay, and I press enter. It says updating it. And as you can see, it has made the text look more playful in nature, beautiful analytics to grow far faster. It's, it's given it a nice custom gradient to make it look a little more playful. Of course, you can choose multiple colors. It's still not perfect, but it gives you so many new ideas and inspiration that you just can't ignore it. This next one is called Font Explore AI and it does just that. Define the kind of font you are looking for and it will give you some great suggestions based on your description. So if you're looking for a round bubbly font, it will show you some round bubbly fonts. If I search for this and run it in my Figma file, it will pop a very simple interface here. I can select any text that is on screen and next find fonts. It will ask you which type of font you require. So if you want specifically a sans serif, select sans serif. Now here I can define the font real quick. I can describe the font as thin. I can describe comma and then I describe the second adjective, which is futuristic. Again, this is the nature of the font. Then I can even choose something like wide. So thin, futuristic and wide. This is describing the font and I say update font. Ah, as you can see, it gives me a thin, futuristic looking font right here. Now there are some bugs with this AI or this plugin. Sometimes if you give it various descriptions or various adjectives, it gets confused and chooses a font which you don't really like. I'm going to try one more just to show you guys rounded, comma, fun. I select the font and I say update font. Ah, as you can see now it's a more rounded, fun kind of font right here. If I say update font again, it will find me another font. Again, more playful, more fun font as I wanted. You can, you can click on update font multiple times until it finds the font which you are really looking for. I love this one. It's actually really rounded and fun. And this is what I was looking for. This next one might blow your mind because this is the fix to all your design problems. AI Dentic, it improves the usability of your UI design using AI. So it scans your design and tests whether it will be usable to the user, the contrasts, the text, the readability, legibility of the entire, the entire page is tested with AI and it fixes it automatically for you as well. Here under plugins, I will search for AI Identic again and run this. Once you've logged in properly, you'll have this new project. Just name anything, you know, uh, description, whatever, new project. And now you have to create a new test to test this UI out. So I'm gonna click and I'm gonna say new test. I'm gonna name it anything, whatever. And you have to select a frame. Once you've selected a frame, it automatically brings it up here. Before you even begin, you'll just have to quickly share the Figma URL and copy and paste it here. Once that is done, it will be able to run the test internally. And as the test runs, as soon as the test runs and completes in less than a minute, it tells you where you are going wrong or where you can make some fixes. You can see there are some issues with text, colors, etc. I'll take a detailed report as well. And it opens up the entire UI in this little pop-up menu right here. And it shows you in detail where you could have improved everything. 
and what it does it it fixes it for you live here as well i think this is a fantastic little tool that helps you fix things that helps you point out where these things are and of course it scrolls to the section where it is also mentioning it kudos to these guys for creating such a beautiful ai tool that works well works works in a good environment as well it's not just a gimmick it's not just for fun it's actually useful for larger teams as well chat gpt is fine and all but you have but it takes time for designers like us to learn it cube gpt is a ux ai assistant inside figma it essentially turns chat gpt into a ui or ux assistant now the cool thing about this is that it has a bunch of prompts that you would generally write in chat gpt but curated for ux designers so for example there's things like translate improve make it a game style make it longer change tone make it shorter fix spelling tagline bullet points etc if you're a designer and you want to use these prompts quickly and of course you can even add your own prompts so if you have a prompt in mind as a ux designer you can add it here and save it here as well great place to house your own prompts as well as to use pre built prompts for ux designers a short one i just wanted to quickly give a shout out to The next one is great for portfolios, case studies, and even design projects. This is called Coco AI. It literally creates personas, journey maps, user interviews, copy for your documentation, and everything in using AI, using the power of AI. And if I go ahead and run this inside Figma, it pops up this nice little cute cat animation, and it of course makes you log in first. Just quickly log in. Now once you've logged in or signed up it gives you this nice little descriptive and detailed plugin. As you can see, you can create product briefs, user interviews, personas, journey maps, UX copyright as well as a design checklist. And who is right here on top? Coco creates an entire design project for you. Puneet Chawla youtube.com. So, yes, I said some cool things about this before, but they've really expanded on this and I'm really happy that they did. now you can quickly create a journey map so you can tell it what persona it is so a ux designer so maybe you're creating a tool for ux designers a ux designer working as a freelancer so this is our persona what is the scenario he wants to apply for jobs online of course and i say generate so it will create it will generate using ai an entire user journey map of this persona with a complete scenario so it creates a list of user tasks so as you can see phase 1 research and preparation it creates your phase then it creates pain points then it creates opportunities so everything that you would see in a persona and of course it will create a journey map in a second as well and as you can see not only has it described everything here on the right as text but if i close this one it will it has created a nice representation of it here as well entire journey map ranging from research and preparation of the job to job search to interview preparation to job offer and acceptance so it creates an entire journey map for you of course this is not stylized or designed in a lot of different cool ways but the fact that it has described everything and the pain point from the pain points to the user journey could improve everything has been listed here and this was all created using ai i have not touched anything else which of course is hard to believe but you have to try it out for yourself to actually start believing these things and another similar one as coco you want to try it out it's called ai designer somewhat similar to coco not as powerful not as detailed but again a quick one which creates mind map user personas empathy maps journey maps flows information architecture so this is this has a few more features but again a lot of these features are going to come up or they are coming soon still try it out give it a give it a whirl and tell me in the comments if you like it now this next one is called ai color palette generator and a lot of designers suck at selecting the right colors So AI color palette generator is going to solve that for you guys. I run this right here inside Figma and based on certain keywords it can bring in something for you. So maybe it's a all rainy day. That's the description I got in my head and it will give you a dull rainy day. Another one similar to that is palette magic. You'll find a bunch of these color palette AI generators 
try two or three before you pick one which suits you and you can start using it in your projects again just a quick recommendation i had to push out the best one if you ask me it doesn't really promote itself as an ai tool but it's called spectrum just another recommendation so that you guys can select the best option i cannot end this video without giving a shout out to diagram these guys are pioneering ai tools especially meant for figma and one is magician whatever description you give it creates an icon set for you so if you want a custom icon for your design project it will you can just describe it and it'll give it to you if you want automations so if you want a long task to be automated quickly it has something called automator they're also hard at work on something called genius a ai companion of sorts something that we just saw today but it literally designs with you so while you are creating while you are designing it gets in as a it gets in as a teammate and it literally designs alongside you as if a teammate is working with you which is insane which blows your mind don't worry it's not going to replace you in your job but it is absolutely fantastic all right guys that was it for today's video however hit the like button before you leave that really pumps me up makes motivates me to create more videos like these also subscribe for videos like this every week till next time same place same time till next time yeah